Could you uh, tell the folks at home where are we right now? We're at the uh, New York Wrestling Connections Academy School, training facility, whatever you want to call it, it's the only WC school where we everyone learns to become a wrestler. Keep your hands here. Put your hands on top of you when you kick out. Almost like your feet are trying to kick the ceiling. At the same time, How long have you been involved with these guys? Uh, I've been here for 10 years. 10 years, man. 10 years, 10 long years. Do you have a full-time job too, or? Yeah, I work in a lab as a technician for the animal, uh, animal technician, actually. You're an animal technician uh, part-time, and you're a wrestler part-time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I started, I was just mainly working here for a few years and then branched out to New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, uh, Rhode Island. I mean, I've been pretty much up to the whole East Coast, some uh, like St. Louis and stuff like that, Ohio. I've uh, done Trinidad, Tobago, Puerto Rico. Wow. Uh, yeah. How did you get started? Uh, well, I grew up a fan. I mean, I think any, anyone that's in this business is a fan they grew up as a kid. Alex. Uh, hold on, Antonio. And I love research schools, and at the time, this school was actually called Critical Mass, and it was actually um, shut down. Was, uh, John Curtis, one of the owners, had a falling out with one of his original partners, and then uh, Shane O'Neill teamed up with him, and they opened up NYWC. I got in contact with Curtis. Uh, he told me the school was opening in September, and joined. And uh, the trainer at the time was Mikey Whipwreck, which from ECW, WCW, and the rest is history. Do you say performing or do you say... I mean, it's performing. I mean, wrestling is... I mean, wrestling's the hardest non-sport, I guess, if you want to call it. Try to tuck your head It is a sport, but, you know, I mean, people know the secrets behind it. Um, but it's very physical. I've been hurt. I've just had friends that have been hurt. I can't really do it here, so. friends that are not even wrestling anymore because they really can't do it. So it is, you know, you, you can call performing, acting, um, I, you know, I just call it working. You know what, it, it, it's something I want to say too because because people know me, you know, I fight this and that, and I just want to say about pro wrestling, okay, and tell me if I'm wrong. The outcome is scripted, but when people say it's fake, it's not fake. You've got two very big guys jumping on each other and hitting each other, people get hurt. You gotta be strong, you gotta be fit. Yeah, I mean, people think the ring's either a mattress or a trampoline, and you broke that ring down. All it really is is a wrestling mat, which is like an inch and a half thick, and it's wood and steel. I mean, that's it. There's no spring, there's no foam crash, but it's, it's just wood and mat, and it's rough. Hey, Joe, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the folks at home? My name is Joe. I'll be a uh, strength and conditioning coach here at NYWC. And uh, we uh, usually start with strength and conditioning for about maybe an hour. We do squats, sit ups, stretches, and uh, a lot of uh, ab work, a lot of different ab work. And uh, that's about it. After we do part of our strength and conditioning, we do part, um, wrestling in the ring. We have uh, two wrestling trainers here. 
and uh, they take the students through about maybe two to three hours of uh, ring work. But my job is solely the cardio, strength and conditioning. So these, these guys are doing their, I mean, are, are they doing the bulk of their actual strength with you? I mean, I, I'm assuming well, no. that they go to the gym, right? Yeah, they go to a gym besides this. Yeah. I just basically get them in shape so they can perform during a match without gassing out, which means running out of energy. How many, how many minutes do they usually wrestle in the uh, show? Rest, uh, wrestling matches are anywhere between 5 and 15 or 20 minutes, depending. 15, and 20 minutes is a long time. It's, it's tough. Do they ring the bell and you had a one minute break like you do in boxing or no? No, no, no. there's no break. So there's 15, 20 minutes of right. moving, moving, yeah. moving. Yeah. I mean, if you're in a tag team match, you get to rest a little bit, but if it's one on one, it's not stop. They hit. And that is hard. It's, it's very, very different, yeah. The very, guys are in good shape. Very cardio intensive, right? Yes. Yeah. Shit. Man, that's something I hadn't thought about. So, you know, an MMA match, too, is 15 minutes, but we got a one-minute break every five minutes. The other thing is the MMA audience paid money to come there and watch you. They already like you in that respect. I think a wrestling audience is getting pretty hostile if they, they're they bored or if they don't like what's going on in yeah, the ring. And yeah, they'll stop boring, you know, and uh, you, don't want, you don't want that because they'll yell boring, which we never get at our shows because our wrestlers are very active. And uh, there's really no boring parts of the match. Yeah. Constantly moving. Constantly moving. You gotta keep the audience okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Alright. You got anything you want to say to the folks at all? Uh, not really. I mean I um I also train professional boxers. I have uh, one of my students right now is the New York State heavyweight champ. His name is Dallin Madison. Oh, you have some rounds from your he's a ten round fighter. Ten round fighter, yeah. It's he's a solid pro. Yeah, he's the current New York State heavyweight boxing champ. Wow. Uh, awesome. Thanks so much. Sir. You're welcome. Yeah, when people say it's fake, it's not. I mean, the only thing that's the outcome, the outcome of the match is yeah, pretty, pretty much. Terrible, but, and and uh, and I guess they'll tell you there's some specific move or yeah, some like, storyline they want yeah, to play out. Yeah, you'll be told, like but it's like it's like a movie. You know, um, it's always good and bad. And then you know, 90% of the time, you know, depending on the story, the hero comes out on top. But it's just it's a movie. Bad yeah. guy, you know, good guy starts and the bad guy. That's really it. First of all, there's nothing fake about this wrestling, man. These guys are flying, they're jumping, they're bumping. I mean, you can get creamed in here. them is that if you're being thrown you have to know how to be thrown not just how to land but what to do while you're being thrown so the both parties have to practice every move and then um, they're playing back and forth one guy's the heel one guy's the baby face and that's how the drills are going now they taught me one thing they said that when we we're doing our rolls we should keep our hands in a fist so that our fingers don't get stepped on nice tell me the way you escape from getting pinned you gotta kick both your legs up in the air and like throw the guy over your head. And in MMA or wrestling, it's like basically both your feet have to stay on the ground so you can push off. So it's pretty funny, man. I'm trying to push off the ground, but they're like, no, kick in the air, kick in the air. That's why they call them pros, they know what they're doing.